guys. Welcome back in the kitchen with Nikki and Mike. Oh man, today we got a delicious meatloaf recipe for you. Quick, simple, and easy. And um, I know your family will enjoy it. So let's get into the um, ingredients, all right? Of course, you gotta have your ground beef. I got 80-20, 80% 80 lean, 20% fat. You can use whatever you would like, okay? We got some tomato, um, tomato, tomato ketchup. We got some ketchup. We have some Italian breadcrumbs today, but you can use plain. Today I have Italian, I'm just using what I have. Some black pepper, ground black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. I have a um, Lori seasoning salt. I'm using another all purpose by Maggie. Maggie all pur purpose seasoning. I got some Wisha W sauce, but we got Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. All right, we got two, <laughs> we're gonna need two eggs. Um, some onions, about a couple onions. I just used a whole onion, a third of a, a green bell pepper, and about a half of a red bell pepper, sweet red bell pepper. And that's about it. Oh, I said a third of milk already. I oh, think. one third of milk. I did say that. I, I think. got you, got you. I didn't. My you bad. see it. You see it. You see what it is. All right. Let me quickly rinse my fingers. All right. Let me wash my hands off. All right. All right. Wash them up. Get straight into this meat. We ain't wasting no time today. All right. We're going to go ahead and crack these eggs. We've got two large eggs here. All right, guys. If uh, you eat meatloaf, we enjoy meatloaf in this house. Um, what do you like to eat with your meatloaf? Let's start. I'm put a little ketchup in there. I'm learning too. Right. Ketchup. Some people use V8 juice. Vegetable juice. Tables, tables one of black V8, yeah, V8 vegetable tomato juice. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Like I always say. Make it your own recipe. The garlic powder. This is actually roasted garlic powder. Doesn't matter though. Oh, shucks. Can you open this one? Here we go with the freaking season. I'm sneezing stuff. I can't take these seasons, man. Whew. Now this got a nice salt content in here. I'm not using actual salt because this is blend. I mean, I guess I am, but it's inside the lorries. Now this seasoning doesn't have a lot of salt. I'm quite sure it has some sodium in here, but very little. And this is good. I like Maggie products. They got a fish seasoning that's good. A chicken. They got jerk seasoning. Pretty good. About a tablespoon of this. Make up the flavor. This is mine, okay? This is I'ma season it the way I like it, but you know, like you can. You can season it the way you like it, but I enjoy my seasons going on, okay? I don't like no bland food. I've been doing this for a while. Yeah, no complaints. No from no no nobody in here. Anyway, this is about I don't know if I told you, but this is about three pounds of ground beef, y'all. Alright. All right, what our onions? And hey, the onions are cut. Let me show y'all. I'm sorry I didn't show y'all closely, but the green bell peppers and onions is all cut up very finely. Because usually, say if I'm in a, you know, like I don't feel like I'm in a rush today. I'm really hungry right now. So I want to go ahead and get this in the oven immediately. But, you know, you don't have to dice it so fine. But you, if you do, if you don't, you can go ahead and um, saute your vegetables on the stove for about three to five minutes. And go ahead and par partially cook them. Therefore, they'll break down. But if you cut them up this tiny like this, you won't have an issue. All right? And also, I got my oven on 375. And you can even blast. Probably put up to 3. You could do 375, 400 for about 35 minutes. Okay? But, you know, oven, oven, um, oven, what you call it? The heat of the oven may vary. It depends on your oven and stuff. I got a convection oven, so 375 is pretty hot. And let's cook this nicely. All right, let's see. Just dump and go, all right? Now, last but not least, got a cup of breadcrumbs. 
Should I bring out? Should I do gloves? I don't know. All right, we can get dirty with it today. put it in the transfer into the aluminum pan that I'm gonna be using to bake it in you know and that's it all right we're going in the oven all right I have went ahead and poured some ketchup in a bowl but here we go okay this is for the glaze for the um for my meatloaf okay but some people like gravy so I, ne I never, it doesn't matter, I guess. But um, this is what I'm making today. I guess it does matter. If you like gravy, go ahead and make you some gravy. But I like the ketchup glaze um, more than I like the gravy. All right, so we're going to put about a cup of ketchup in here. All right. Okay, and then about a half a cup of, very simple, about a half a cup of, um, I find my measuring cups and about a half a cup of this brown sugar. Don't have to be. I don't have to pack it. And my brown sugar is all lumpy, but we'll figure. We'll get it together. And um, sometimes I add mustard too. To be honest, sometimes I add a squirt of mustard or so. If you like mustard, if, um, you can go ahead and it gives it a little tang. You can go ahead and do that. Maybe I will. Like, you want to pass me the mustard real quick? But it is, that's optional. It's not going to change any too much of a flavor. It just gives it a little tang. I guess it depends on how much you add in there. Now this, my, um, and if you don't have brown sugar, you can go ahead and add white sugar as well. Maybe that's what I should have did being at my, my brown sugar is, is, is like this. So just about a, a teaspoon of mustard for me. But that's pretty much it, y'all. But I'm going to go ahead and work on this and get all these lumps out. I just wanted to come back real quick and show you, uh, you know, the glaze for it, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and break these little sugar pieces down. And that's it. All right, guys. So we have almost at the finish line with our meatloaf here. So we have our glaze, right? Our ketchup and some sugar here. We got brown sugar in here. You can, like I said, you can use white sugar and a little mustard. I'm gonna go ahead and brush. Maybe I should have just kept my spoon, but use a spoon. <laughs> Try to be fancy over here, right? But anyway, you just go ahead and I'm gonna do two glazes in the oven, like five minutes or so. Throw it on 400, 450 or so. And, um, you know, just get it nice and, like, you know, you want it to stick on there. And get this stuff all around. Get the glaze all the way around there. And then, like I said, we go in the oven, like, five or six minutes each time. Okay? And I can't wait to eat. Ooh, I poured some oil off of here already. But, you know, I'm taking it out of here anyway when I plate it for you guys. So, that, that's not going to harm nothing. Okay? Yeah, if you want to take some of the oil off here and make you some gravy, you can do that if you want to. All right. Um, it's your choice. But, uh, that's pretty much it. All right, we're going back in the oven for about five or so minutes, five or six minutes. So, it was already in the oven for... 45, 45 I was in the oven for about 50 minutes. 50 minutes, and then right. you take it out, you rub it down with your glaze that you created, and uh, make your glaze, to, you know, to your taste, whatever you like, you make it. This is this glaze, and I suggest try it, and go from there, we're going to throw it back in the oven, 
to, uh, I guess, to get this, um, what? Yeah, to stick on, you know, to make it, you know, like, nice and sticky. Nice and sticky. There you go. You know? All right. And then we, I'm going to let it rest, but we'll talk about that when it comes out. But then I'm going to let it rest, and then I'm going to go ahead and plate it up. All right, guys. We are, we are back with the finished result. This is our beautiful, nice, moist meatloaf. That you see here. Oh my God, darling, it looks delicious. Oh my, yes, I cannot wait to sink my teeth into this. Mm -hmm. There you go, guys. Meatloaf. You see how those onions and bell peppers just cooked right in? You probably was worried because you didn't saute them, but there you go. Nice meal, guys. Yeah. And if you got the gravy, like I say, you can make that. We're going to pair this with some mashed potatoes, some corn on the side. Uh, if you want to see a recipe for some mashed potatoes, you just let us know, guys. Thank you guys for viewing our video. As always, please, please, please subscribe, like this video, and share this video. And if you make it, as always, let us know what you think, guys. Thank you for viewing In the Kitchen with Nikki, Nikki. and Mike. <laughs> Till next time. Peace.